Okay, before we start today, let us uh, just see what all things that we know about Mohr circle. Okay, so where we started, we started finding uh, uh, the moment of inertia about an inclined axis, right? We have been given Ix and Iy, those are two orthogonal axes about which we already know the moment of inertia. Okay, so given that, what all things that we can deduce? Uh, yes, if it is a axis which is like this, okay, if it is an axis which is like this, so these two becomes the point what we know. Okay, so I x and I y, these are the two points for which we know their drops on this axis, that is principal axis, principal moment of inertia axis. This is product moment of inertia axis, that is what we know. And then this becomes your Ix, this becomes your Iy and whatever is this perpendicular, this is your Ixy, that is product moment of inertia for that point, okay. So let us say this is be uh, this being your point about which we know. So your maximum point lies some somewhere over here. So these two are the points which are maximum moment of inertia location, and that is at an angle of theta. Theta. So over here it is two theta. So it is actually theta in the physical system. So theta from this. So these, this is the point where you see this maximum moment of inertia. So if it is an object, so you know moment of inertia about one of the axes. So this is your theta angle about which it can be maximum. Okay, I maximum and I minimum. So this was I x and I y that you know. Okay, and accordingly I x y that is product moment of inertia can be found out. So this is uh, basically uh, the product moment of inertia and moment of inertia terms okay, that we can quickly figure out given I x and I y given at an angle theta from the given axis. So this is effectively what you saw it is a parametric equation of a circle which is given by this circle which is known as Mohr circle. Okay. So again, analyzing different important terms in this uh, expression which is here, so what all things that you see, yes, so I average is the distance from here to here, this is I average, this is, this is what, I x and I y, so this is your I x, so this point is I y or I max, I min. So if it is I max I min by 2 or I x I y by 2 both are same and that is I average that effectively gives you this location from origin O okay along principal axis okay. So this is your center point this is C this represents the point C that is center of that circle. How much is radii of this circle? So it is basically I x minus I y by 2. So if this minus this by 2, this effectively gives you this distance, is it not? So that is Ix minus Iy by 2. So yes, it is it is this distance. If it is maximum 1, it will come out to be this one. In that case, Ixy will be equal to 0 over here. But over here, it is Ix minus Iy by 2. If you take, it is this distance, is it not? So it is this distance. So plus Ix, Iy, Ixy square, so that it effectively gives you the radii, okay. So this is your radius. So you know all the points which are there in this circle. So this is effective equation of circle which can be given as Ix square plus Ixy square is equal to R square. But yes, now that the center is shifted by this distance, so this forms the equation of this circle, is it not? So this is your effective equation of circle and I max I min can be given as I average plus minus R. I average is this location, I average, okay. So this plus minus R are the two locations. So if I can do it more clearly, it is more effective now. So yes, so this is your I average, okay. This plus radius is I max, this minus radius is I min got it so this is what this 
circle can give you okay so you very well know this circle now by now so before we actually take let us see if something else that is remaining yes so this this is the point which is given this is the axis about which you know it is having the maximum and minimum maximum and minimum moment of inertia so any angle at theta from this from this angle so over here i'll have to put that as q theta in order to get to new location if i want to find a find the moment of inertia i x dash and i y dash or i x prime i y prime okay that is product moment of inertia from this given location it will be somewhere over here okay okay uh, so this is how you go, do and uh, these are the steps you know how you can approach such problem okay how you can approach such problem so what it says okay let us directly pick up one of the problem for today okay so we'll go by these steps only okay so this is the given problem in hand okay what it says it says you have a piece for which moment of inertia i x is given it is millimeter to the power 4 if you remember the moment of inertia for this area unit okay i y is again 2.59 10 to the power 6 and i x y this is product moment of inertia is given so three things are given okay so this is something i x y uh, and i x i y this is moment of inertia about a particular axis is given now you have to find out principal axis of the section that is principal axis that is the maximum and minimum where will it lie with reference to this one okay with reference to this where will it lie okay so that is what we have to find out with reference to this obviously in terms of theta we will find out okay and the values of i x i y and i z or it can be written as i x y x prime y prime at an angle theta is equal to 60 degree from the given position okay now what is steps that we can do we will quickly plot i x so uh, using this you can quickly get the points you can quickly get the points i x i y okay so these two are the mirror point about this so if this is i x this will be i y okay so this is your point y this is your point x so let us do it and see how we go for it so yes so this is the this is the point so these are the values which are given okay these are the values which are given so quickly i can get to point x and point y like this okay i know there are a pretty good amount of queries that must have come into your brain why i have taken this axis something like this why not it can be like this i can easily take point x over here point y over here is it not and it will be similar what difference does it create actually physically in a physical body if you tell you have a shape this is your x this is your y so by interchanging this point what is happening actually so this is becoming y this is becoming your x so you have just interchanged these two and you can still use more circles and uh, circle and plot it okay this time you won't have to come back like this in order to get the maximum point this time you can rotate it this way and get to the maximum point it is equally good okay so both are orthogonal axes about which it is given so you can either take it this way okay the first one or the second one. both are equivalent okay so yes now let us move ahead taking this and why this is helping me why i haven't gone through a conventional way because you see if at all i have to find out about uh, an axis if i would have taken it like this okay so that means i have to find out something at an angle 60 degree from this location again i will have to turn it this way so 120 degree will finally take it to your 
So yes, you know if it is 60 degree, you have to take it two times of 60 degree. That is 120 degree from here. So effectively, you will come back to something like this. So why not start like this and again measure it something like this, so that you remain in the uh, positive side only of this. Okay. So these these are different reasons why we can choose to have x y or x y interchange. Both are equivalent. Okay. So let us start with this and see how I am taking it, this problem. Okay. So same way you can do different problems. So yes. So these are the values which are given. Yes. So first point x. X will be i x. This I have quickly done. Okay. I x and i y. I y will be this point. I y will be this point. Is it not? This is i x and this is your i y. Got it? And because this is your product moment of inertia line. So, along this direction, I will have plus 2.54, 2.54 that is i x y and minus 2.54 that is along this. So, these two are the distances that will precisely locate x and y. Hope you got it. Now, how will I go for finding out the center location? Center location, okay. So, these are different things that we are going to do one by one. So, yes, so OC, OC from here to this point that is the center location that is given by I average that is this plus this, this plus this by 2 will be this. So, it is effectively Ix plus Iy by 2 and that quickly gives me 4.895 that is done. So, I average point C is located. Next, CD, CD, this line. So, that will be equal to this minus this by 2. So, it is i x minus i y by 2. So, that gives me 2.305, 10 to the power 6, millimeter to the power 4. Okay, so this is C D. So, this distance you know now, this you already knew. Okay, so now you can quickly find out the radii. Okay, so radii is equal to because you know this, you know this directly also you can obtain. So, that is quickly as cd square dx square or this plus this will quickly give you the radii. Then, so this is found out. Now, you know this. Okay. Now, rest things are very, very trivial. I have to find out maximum moment of inertia and its location from the given location. Okay. That is this angle I have to find out this angle. Now that I know the, these distances, the CD and DX can quickly do it. Yes, tan of 2 theta m will be equal to DX by this. Okay. So, it gives me this. So, 2 theta m is equal to tan inverse of 1.0102 that is giving me this. So, effectively theta m is 23.09. So, this angle is 2 times of theta m. So, your this location, location of principal axis from the given location that is this axis is at 23.9 degree from the given location. Okay. So, location of principal moment of inertia is found out. Now, I have to find out the values. How much is the moment of inertia Ix, Iy and Ixy about that axis? That also is doable. Yes. Because you know this average location, you already know the radii. So, this plus the radii will take you to this, this minus the radii will take you to this. Okay. So, I average is well known, that is already known. Okay. Again, R radii is also known, radii is also known. Okay. At this location. Okay. So, now you can quickly find out. I max as I average plus radii that is this and I minimum is equal to OC minus BC that will give you this. So, I max, I minimum both are known and the location of position of this from this is obtained. Okay? Now, I have to find out moment of inertia of the same section about a position which is at a 
at an angle of 60 degree from the given position. Got it? Now, I already have rotated it by this much to get to the maximum one. Okay, this is already done. Now, this was the maximum. We already know these locations. Okay, this was given already in the question. Right? This angle also you have found out. This angle that is 2 theta m. How much was that? 2 theta m. Yes, theta m was this, 2 theta m is this. So, that angle is also known now. Okay. So, this angle is known. So, now I have to rotate it by 2 theta. That is where you have to find out because you know theta is 60 degrees. So, you have to come to a location that is at 120 degree from the given position. So, you have to find out this point and this point. They are projection of that on this axis will give you i x prime and i y prime that is the maximum and the minimum at this okay and i x y will be this vertical distance x prime y prime. So, this these three things that you have to find out this can be easily obtained by geometry okay. So, yes this angle phi angle this angle Okay, this angle it can be easily obtained. This is 120 degree. This is 47.8 degree. This angle is known, so you can quickly obtain that. So that is equal to 72.2 degrees. So this angle is known now. This is 72.2 degree with respect to horizontal. Okay, that is the principal axis. Okay, now the values at 60 degrees. So you have to find out I x prime. So, that is equal to OF, OF and that is equal to OC plus CX dash, CX dash. How much is that? That is equal to radii, okay. That is equal to R, okay. So, how much is this OC? OC is I average plus R cosine of 72, that is this angle, cosine. If this is R, cosine of that ok. So, that should quickly give me i x prime. So, this is done similarly i y will be o c minus c y. C y is again equal to r cos of psi this angle is psi and uh, that is equal to 72 degree. So, it is i average minus this. So, that gives you this and finally, i x y that is the projection this one. So, it is directly equal to radii sin r sin component of r is this distance and it is equal to 3.27. Got it? So, this is how you can attempt any given question. Okay? Uh, this time I have taken it this way. In order to get to the maximum value, I have rotated it counterclockwise. Okay? And further angle was 120 degrees. Only advantage that I have taken is I have taken x and y like this not at this and this location. If uh, that also could have been done, you will get to a similar value. Okay, That is an alternate solution for the same problem. Yes. So, that will be an axis and then you can turn by 120 degree and you can get this. So, these are the two different approaches to the same problem. Try that one also. No problem. Okay. So, that is what you can try at home. Okay? I hope till here it is quite clear. That is all.